you. It is Monica Sleeve McQueen here for, I think, my week 21 post-op update from a Vertical Sleeve Gastrectomy. Looking fabulous. Uh, didn't want to put on makeup today. Been doing a lot of busy work. Um, still loving my short hair. In fact, it's a lot easier to deal with in a headscarf because it's not all bulky under there. Okay. I didn't lose very much weight this week, but I did lose. So uh, this morning I was 269.8. And you can't read that. So that is 136.7 pounds since my high weight a year ago and 63.2 since surgery on 421.15. Um, things are going really well. It feels weird to be 260 something. I was in 270 something for a while. And when I first got there, that felt weird, of course. But this is just like, it's uncharted territory. It's just bizarre to see the number. And do I even believe that? Um, my oldest son, I told him this morning, and he's carrying a little bit of extra weight. And he said, are you serious? And I said, yeah. He goes, wow, you're going to catch up to me soon. So I was like, well, how much do you weigh? He weighs two. 37. I can't imagine weighing less than my adult son. That's not something that, you know, I thought I would always weigh more than him, but you know, like 32 pounds or something and I'll weigh less than my adult son. That will be really bizarre. <clears throat> the um, interview uh, went okay. I think I was the only person there uh, applying for the para-pro or teacher assistant position. I felt out of my element, I won't lie. Everyone else there was a retired teacher or a former substitute. So they have classroom experience. They knew what they were doing. They were popping out the answers to the questions and I'm sitting there like, uh, what? I felt really out of my element, I'm not gonna lie. But I had to go get fingerprinted and I turned in my application so I'm just waiting for them to let me know if I have been approved or not approved. It's killing me to wait. I'm not going to lie. I don't like waiting for anything really, but um, especially when it's something I really, really want, like a job. So um, I do have a lead on another opportunity. If this falls through, I might look into driving a city bus. Can you see me as a big city bus driver? I could do it. Um, I felt really good this week. I'm still battling the nausea and heartburn. And for those of you who mentioned it, I am still taking 40 milligrams of omeprazole every day. I'm not eating anything spicy. I'm trying not to eat too close to laying down. Um, but it has improved in the last week. And I didn't call the surgeon after all, because it really has improved. I have been pushing water. Kim Stephanopoulos and I had coffee Congratulations, her one year surge anniversary just passed uh, a little bit ago, and she doesn't make a big deal out of those kind of things. So, if you know her, wish her a happy one year surge anniversary. I have something in the works that I'm going to do, but I, I have to get one more thing and uh, to make her a little surprise. Uh, where was I going with that? Oh, she and I had coffee last week, and she was telling me about a water challenge that she did. So, um, I've really been pushing water, like, way more water than I want to drink. And I've been feeling um, like I have more space. So I, I don't understand any of it, whatever. So for now, things have made an improvement. If they go back down, you know, I will call the surgeon, but I don't really feel like I'm in danger of having a stricture anymore. So I don't know. I, I never, I never know how to take what is happening and process it into like a scientific viewpoint because nobody fits into any one thing. And it's just, it's just this wild, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing that's working and what's not working. I'm just hanging in and holding on. Um, what else? I feel like my clothes are fitting much better. I don't know why. Just recently, again, people are mentioning, wow, you look so small and, and this, that, and the other. So people are noticing I'm wearing kind of tight yoga type pants kind of thing. And I wore them with a sweater this morning 
And I looked in the mirror and I was like, that that's okay. I still am a big person and but this is something I never would have worn at my high weight. And and it was okay. I didn't look um I didn't look out of place or inappropriately dressed. And then this afternoon it warmed up and I have a, a t shirt on. And um, I feel a little less comfortable because the t-shirt doesn't go down as far to cover um, my entire abdomen. But I, I went out in public. I picked up the kids. I went into the store. I pumped gas. And nobody stared at me and pointed like, ah, you're dressed really gross. None of that happened. It was like nobody cared. Um, I did have a weird experience. And um, as I was walking into the gas station to pay, um, a very large woman walked out, someone who I would say um, was probably close to my high weight and who was very similarly shaped to me. And um, I, I made pleasantries with her. Hey, how you doing? And as I passed her, the door behind her closed. And so I saw my reflection in the door as I was approaching it. It was a glass door. And um, I was significantly smaller than her. And it's not like I've had too many perception issues. You know, people say, I still feel like I'm that big or I don't see the changes. For me, that's not true. I do see the changes. Just my physical ability to move guarantees that I know that I'm not that big anymore. But it was a shock. Um, and I instantly, instead of feeling happy about me in the mirror, like, whoo, I felt terrible for her. And um, it was like an emotional moment that slapped me in the face. I didn't see it coming. I didn't expect to have any kind of reaction. But um, the moment I saw my reflection and the difference in the sizes of between her and I, um, I was just hit with extreme um, empathy for her. And you know how our emotions are crazy anyway because of the rapid weight loss. But it was just, oh, bless her heart. I wish I could tell her or help her, or, you know, and, and it's not my place. Maybe she's completely happy. Maybe she's already lost weight. Maybe she, you know, has a medical condition. You know, it's not my place. But my heart just, my heart went out to her. So that was kind of weird today. I didn't see that coming. And, um... Let's see. I've been reorganizing. I'm actually sitting in my bedroom in a chair and a half. You guys know what a chair and a half is. It's like an oversized chair. It makes me feel like a small child. Um, but I, I never really sat in this much. I always wanted one and I um, wanted my ex-husband to buy one when we were married and buying furniture and he thought it was you know ridiculous. I thought you can tuck a kid in with you. You can sit together. So I found one in a yard sale a few years ago. And um, there really wasn't a place for it in the house that people actually wanted to sit in it because it takes up a lot of space. So it's kind of been not used in the family room. And uh, I took the desk out of here to make a craft area for myself out in the, another part of the house. So I brought this in here and I sat in it. And when I sat in it the last time, it didn't feel, it felt like a very comfortable chair because it was big, but it didn't feel like a chair and a half because I didn't have extra space, but I'm going to show you guys. There's a little bit of space here because I'm kind of sitting to this side and then there's all this space here. I didn't realize it because I haven't sat in this chair in a million years. And now I feel like a kid. I feel like a little kid sitting in this big old chair and it's become my absolute favorite place. I've got an old, um, couch. It's actually a throw cover for a couch on it because the fabric is kind of wonky, but I'm going to recover this and it's going to become my favorite seat in the house. I know it already. Jack has gotten in it and sat next to me and we've been completely comfortable. Just feels good. Uh, let's see what else. When I'm at nine minutes and 30 seconds already, not a lot's really going on. Just getting into the routine of back to school with the kids, continuing to try to eat right, get a lot of water, take my vitamins, try to find a job and prep in the house for winter. So all good stuff, which is great. Um, no bummers this week. I'm pretty, okay. 
let me take that back. I'm not going to say who because it's not my place, but a family member in my extended family um, has gotten a, um, a medical diagnosis that's pretty, has potential to be bad. So um, send good vibes, prayers if that's what you do, um, and loving energy in the direction of my family member. That's very vague, I know. But um, I believe that if you send positivity out there, it will get to who it's supposed to go to. So, and once I am able to share, I will share that with you. And what else? That's it. Okay. I um, have not been watching videos this week. My apologies. Um, I've just been crazy busy. But I appreciated all the comments last week. There were some really, really nice comments last week and lots of helpful tips about the um, about the heartburn issue and a lot of great compliments on my haircut. So I appreciate that. I have decided, I probably can't even, no. I've decided, no, this is not how it's supposed to look. Let's, let's undo, let's never, never, let's not talk about this. We're going to, we're going to pretend that didn't just happen. But when it's first done and it's nice and really tight curled, I look like Prince from the 90s. <laughs> and I like that. It's better than Boo, right? Okay. I love you guys and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.